Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuning in to the undefeated Mustache John. Then what the hell indeed? Oh, Messi with the header! Back post and it's a goal! The rarely seen but always appreciated Lionel Messi header. Let's go. 27 minutes off the clock and Barcelona up 1-0. Doing our part. Keeping hope alive. Let's go. Barca up 1-0. Nicely done. I believe it was Busquets who played that ball in. 30 goals for Lionel Messi this year. Nice. He is onside. So from about maybe 40 yards out, left-hand side, Busquets places it on the head of Lionel Messi. Who redirects it back post. Well done. You love to see it. Not the goal you would expect. Somebody might have won a lot of money on placing a, a headed goal from Lionel Messi to put him up 1-0. It wasn't me. I wouldn't have called that one. But we got it. A little bit of breathing room for Barcelona. We're going to wait and see what happens in these uh, Madrid matches. But for right now, looking good. Up 1-0. 28 minutes off the clock. Let's see what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Celta Vigo on the counter here. Left-hand side. Shot top of the box. What just happened? Ter Stegen didn't even move. Did that take a deflection? What? I mean, so this is why. <laughs> oh, man. I can only laugh. I can only laugh. This has been Barcelona. For most of the year. I'm not going to say all year because we had a really good run there that I don't want to forget about. Wow. Nope. It looks like PK just was directly in the vision of Ter Stegen. It looked like he was lining it up far post. He went near post. Ter Stegen frozen. Frozen to the ground. Didn't even make an effort to save it. <sighs> nope. No offsides. No nothing. That's 1-1. Celti trying to start a counterattack here. Come on, Araujo. Araujo, get a boot in on it. Switching around to the right hand side. Langley chasing down the defend or the attacking player there. Oh, crunching tackle. That's going to be uh, probably a yellow card. Yep, yellow card to Langley. Come on. Oh, is he sent off? Is that his second yellow? Langley, you idiot. <sighs> Barcelona down to 10 men for the last seven and a half minutes. I cannot believe it. Langley, of all people. Bro, are you kidding me? <sighs> Langley, come on, dude. Handballs, penalties, red cards. Langley just having the worst run of form this year. Messi left-hand side. Overlap from Jordi Alba. Cross. Oh, go wait. Can't put it on frame. He was inside the six. Oh, guys, that would have been it. That would have been it. That actually would have deemed him Lord Goatwait. That's all he needed to do. Oh, I can't. Oh, goat weight. You're back to break weight. You're back to break weight, and you're going to get transferred. Oh. <sighs> Celta Vigo on the ball here. Right hand side. Crossed in. <gasps> Off the post and rebound falls right to Celta Vigo for the goal. You guys.
La Liga aside, La Liga aside, this is so disappointing. I don't know who to blame. You could blame Coleman, but here's the thing. At the end of the day, there's 11 players on the pitch who are good enough to beat Celta Vigo. That's really what it comes down to. There's the final whistle. That's it. I just... Here's the thing, folks. Here's the thing. We just, we didn't do enough. Didn't do enough this year from the start. It wasn't even close. We had a miserable first half of the year. Coleman figured out a formation to get the best out of this squad, going to a three back. Even with that, even with Griezmann playing slightly better, even with Dembele playing better aside from finishing, it just, it just wasn't enough. We couldn't beat Real Madrid this year. We couldn't beat Atletico Madrid. We could have gone top of the table against Granada, against Levante, and we didn't take advantage of those opportunities, and now we can't even beat Celta Vigo. It does, it, and you can't blame this fully on Coleman. We have 11 players on the pitch who are good enough to beat Celta Vigo, and it didn't happen. You could say the same thing against Levante. You could say the same thing against Granada. It doesn't make sense. At the end of the day, the players have to perform. That's what it comes down to. So I challenge all of you saying, Coleman out, who's in then? It's not Xavi. So who comes in and saves the day? I don't think it's going to happen. I'm, I'm not disappointed that we are mathematically out of La Liga this year. I, I, I knew that coming in. All right. I knew that was going to happen. I didn't know. There was a snowball's chance, of course. I'm disappointed that we can't get the win. I'm disappointed that we're not ending the season on a, on a high note. We have one more match. I know. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. No Frankie de Young in this one, and it showed. It absolutely showed. Good for Luis Suarez. Good for Atletico Madrid. I hope that Real Madrid doesn't win it. We got one more match left. We'll see what happens. All right. Outside of that on this channel, we got a lot of action still to come. We got Champions League final. We got all kinds of international tournaments going on this summer. So thank you to everyone for joining today, keeping the chat going. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to Stevie D. Baker making a comeback. My number one man in the chair, my moderator, my FIFA advisor. Appreciate you hanging out with us, folks. Uh, everybody else, like I said, appreciate the watch along party. <sighs> we're going gonna to look forward to next year. We got one more match. We're going to start looking forward to next year. I don't think it's going to be Coleman out. I think he sticks around. I think we build off of the positives that we saw. Plenty of negatives. Plenty of negatives. I, I, I Don't even get me started on Langley. Plenty, plenty of leg negatives. Plenty of opportunities for improvement, we'll say. There's going to be some roster changes. There's going to be players coming in, coming out. We'll see what happens. With all that said, I appreciate you spending some time with me. Lots more to come on the channel. We're not done. We're moving forward, undefeated. Thank you for tuning in and taking a ride. I'll catch you all next time.